Hi everyone, in this section uh, finally I will show you how to create a, a mapping visualization based on the COVID-19 data set across all the counties in the United States for day June 24, 2020. If you click in the outline here, creating web maps and combine it with data visualization, click here. Here we want to use this US COVID-19.csv that you downloaded in the first section of this uh, video series. And also uh, you need to have a file for uh, having the name and the shape of the counties in the uh, map. Here it's just a final visualization of this uh, map and different color shows the number of the cases of the COVID-19 across different counties from 0 to 1000. Note that it's just not a screenshot and it's just an interactive map embedded in this website. For example, you could find out that it's actually interactive by going through in each county, just show you the name of the county, name of the state, and also the name of the number of the cases. So. It's not just a static screenshot. Again, as I said, it's an uh, interactive visualization embedded in this website. So you could create a colorful map and just uh, uh, show you the data based on different colors in this map. It's just more interactive and more meaningful to convey the message. So I would go briefly over uh, the steps that we have it's similar to the previous one but for the maps we have some other configurations so you would find the final notebook here if you go to the observable hq.com and click here so uh, in order to create the map again similar to the previous one you create a 3g and based on the different uh, hey, uh, heights and widths that you have. Uh, uh, I defined the uh, shape of the counties based on the files that I had. If you look at the, the file attachments here, I have two files here, uscovid19.csv and counties.alvers.json. You need to download this file. If you don't have, just go to this notebook and click on download and then upload it in your notebook that you want to create from a scratch. So note that not necessarily it would be named at one because I had another one so it just named at one but you need to download this uh, file here. You downloaded the other file uscovid19.csv at the beginning of this workshop but uh, the other file also need to be downloaded from here so that just contains the shape and the position of the counties. And then you take the data based on the different IDs of the counties because as you know, each county has a FIPS ID. It's a unique ID that define each county in the United States. And we just match this uh, uh, data for the number of the cases of the COVID-19 and the shape and the position of the counties based on this FIPS ID. Here I uh, use the uh, CSV parse uh, function similar to the previous one for uh, loading the US COVID-19 uh, CSV file. And as I said, I, ha I need to have uh, the FIPS ID and the number of the cases. And also I define uh, just the title to show you what's this data set. So it's just the COVID-19 data set in the US at the uh, date uh, June 24. You define your uh, color sequential with just, it's just this bar chart. I just choose to uh, use the turbo bar, uh, turbo color map. You can just change that. And also the range that I just use for my color is from zero to thousand number of the cases. And then I just uh, load that file for the shape and the position of the counties. And then I just match that with the ID that I have for data for the COVID-19. And finally, it would just create this 
map and just colored by the number of the cases. So it's a, just a colorful plot that you want to create and note that again, it's not a static screenshot and you can just interactively see the number of the cases, uh, the name of the county and also the name of the estate. So you can just wait on each section of this map and see which section belongs to which section of this uh, map. So that's just interactive and it's just a good practice to create a similar map for example for the number of deaths instead of number of the cases. So that just brings more interactivity to your visualization and finally it's embedded and it's easy to share with other people through the web-based platforms like this. Thank you so much for your attention to our workshops.